Hi, I'm Andrea Specker and I present our work on Unified Pedestrian Attribute Recognition and Retrieval. It's a joint work of the KIT and the Fraunhofer IOSB in Germany. As mentioned in the title, two different tasks are addressed. Pedestrian Attribute Recognition aims at recognizing the semantic attributes of a person. Semantic attributes are soft biometric characteristics such as gender, age or information about clothing. The second task is closely related and tries to find all the occurrences of people matching a specific attribute description. PAR is one possibility to solve this task. One big problem in these research fields is that no appropriate and realistic datasets are available. The datasets are strongly biased with respect to attribute distributions as well as image data distributions, as shown in the figure. Besides, no overarching set of attributes is annotated, which means that generalization experiments are not possible at the moment. We address this topic by harmonizing 40 binary attributes belonging to 12 categories across four publicly available datasets. Sample images from the datasets are shown on the right. The attributes include global attributes like gender or age, but also clothing, colors or accessories. In total, we contribute more than 3 million additional annotations. Based on this new UPAR dataset, we propose two generalization protocols, each of which contains multiple splits. One that uses only one domain for training and another that uses training data from multiple sub-datasets. In addition, we propose the UPAR baseline, which is designed for the generalization but also for the specialization setting. We rely on a typical baseline architecture consisting of a backbone followed by a fully connected classification head and apply many optimizations regarding regularization and training tricks. Details can be found in the paper. Let's move on to the results concerning generalization on the UPAR dataset. Mean accuracy and F1 scores belong to the PAR task and mean average precision and rank 1 are the evaluation metrics for the retrieval. You can observe that our baseline approach significantly outperforms current state-of-the-art models regardless of the evaluation protocol or backbone used. The same findings apply to the specialization case, so the typical evaluation protocol on a single dataset although our model was designed for generalization. Except for some scores, our UPAR model achieves state-of-the-art results on all datasets. In conclusion, we contribute the UPAR dataset for attribute recognition and attribute-based person retrieval that unifies four datasets and enables generalization experiments. Moreover, we conduct a detailed analysis of design choices concerning generalization using the UPAR dataset. And last but not least, we propose the UPAR baseline that improves the state of the art with respect to attribute recognition and attribute based person retrieval on the UPAR dataset as well as the four sub datasets. Thank you for your attention.